Today on our 2016 Ford Focus, we're doing a test fit of the Thule Passage Trunk Mount 2 bike rack. That part number is TH910XT. Now we already have our bike secured down. We're first going to show you how we do that. We have three straps in place, two over our frame and one is our anti-sway strap in the back. We're going to pull down and lift up to release that. We'll be able to pull our bike off and set it off to the side. With our bike out of the way, we'll take a few measurements. First is going to be overall what we're adding to our vehicle. It's going to be about 21 and a quarter inches. Now we do have the option to rotate our arms down. We're just going to pinch at our two points here, rotate our arm, wiggle it back and forth. Do that same thing for the other arm. So now we're only adding about eight inches to our vehicle. Now we have six straps all together holding our bike rack in place. We have two over the top portion of our hatch, two to the sides that act as an anti-sway, and two underneath our trunk. We also have these pads along the bottom and along the top that are going to help to prevent scratches or abrasions from your bike rack onto your vehicle. One thing to note is that you won't be able to use that rear wiper blade with this installed. Now how we adjust this to fit either your trunk or your hatch, depending on your vehicle, we do have two dials, one on each side. We would want to undo both of those and adjust this to the specific setting. So we have it set as eight for our Ford Focus. You will get a list and you want to double check that setting and you, that list will also have all the different other vehicles that this bike rack fits. So you can have one rack for multiple different vehicles. So that's going to be our completed look at the Thule Passage Trunk Mount 2 bike rack, part number TH910XT on our 2016 Ford Focus. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.